Now you can actually see here in person, I don't think the camera's picking it up quite as good, but here in person you can actually see the white powdery film has collected some of it on the side of this silver bowl. And so I'll actually run my finger through it. You see that? You see it right here? You see how it's, see that? Let's do this right there. Run my finger through it. You see that? You can see a lot better here in person, but that's some of the white powdery substance I'm talking about that came out the broccoli, it's right there on the side of the bowl. And again, that's not minerals in the water, uh, because the water here next to me on this bowl, you know, this has been sitting here a while, there's nothing there. There's no white powdery film in person or on camera. Uh, that's a white powdery substance that came off the broccoli. And here in person you can see it collecting on the side here of the bowl, see right there. Look at that. And uh, it's even collected at the bottom of the water, but that's not gonna come up on camera, but I found it here on the side too, to show you. Hi, this is Tim McGaffin the second, and I wanted to show you what happens when you wash broccoli in Kangen water. So here I have my broccoli, and I have it in 11.5 strong Kangen water. And do you see how that water, what remains, looks cloudy. So usually when I wash fruits and vegetables in the Kangen water, uh, yellow comes off, such as tomatoes, strawberries, grapes, you'll see yellow remain. The water off here. Okay. Yeah, you can go ahead and do that one. And so, oh wow. As, or lettuce or spinach. But here, whenever I wash broccoli, I never see any yellow, but I see a white powdery film come off of the broccoli. Now compare the water there and compare it here to the Kangen water that has nothing in it. So that's what it looked like before I put it in, and here's what it looks like after. Now I also have a study that proves that this, that proves that this water removes pesticides. And if you find me on social media or at one of my websites, I will personally email you or message you that study. Unless it gets overwhelming and I have so many requests I can't keep up with them. Uh, but as long as I can keep up, with, keep up with them, I will personally email you or message you the study that proves that this water removes pesticides. Now, here I have, we, I soaked, half an onion, just, this was 10 seconds. Put an onion in the Kangen water and you see that yellow? Uh, so this is usually the type of things that you see when you soak fruits and vegetables. And I also have an onion video, so if you go to my video platform that you're watching this on and search for my other videos or go to my pesticide playlist, if I have one on this platform, You'll see my onion video. Now, side by side, <laughs> look at the difference there. Okay. And how I compare it to tap water. How the onion I put in tap water, you don't see any change compared to the onion that I put in the Kangen water. But you see that yellow there? And so that's why I always tell people as well, is test this out yourself at home. Because people send me requests, and they send me how they want me to test things out. And hey, I can test things out all night and day, but the main thing is you test it out. So go home, get broccoli, put broccoli in your tap water, your bottle water, your filtered water, your vinegar, get that pesticide wash at the health food store, put it in and see if anything comes off. Then come here and then compare your water after you soak the broccoli to what you see here and see if you see any difference. Uh, because I guarantee you that you will not see what you're seeing here in tap water, tap water, bottle water, vinegar, or the pesticide wash. And like I said, I have a study that proves that, th that, proves that this water removes pesticides. And so what I would do is I'm just gonna take the broccoli out here, put it in the drain thing here, and I'll rinse it off and it'll be 
free of the pesticides and the fruits and vegetables always taste better too after you wash them. And so here's how I make the water. So I got my Kangen water machine right here. So you got your drinking waters. Right now it's on the 9.5. Kangen water 9.5. And then this is a beauty water. Let me shoot these over here. So the beauty water right here Beauty water. It's really good for your skin. It's a natural skin toner. It tightens, tones, and softens your skin. If you go to the department store and buy skin toner, it's going to be anywhere from $20 to $60. And here you can have it whenever you want. Uh, and then how I make the waters that clean the pesticides off your produce is right here, the strong acidic water, the 2.5. Strong acidic water. And so it says 2.5 pH. But that this is the water that comes out of the the bottom hose, you see right here, there's the bottom hose. And I collected it, and I put it in this cup right here. And then what I'll do is I'll put it in like a spray bottle right here. But this disinfects everything. This kills E. coli, staph, MRSA, flesh-eating bacteria, uh, and bleach doesn't even kill MRSA. And, but this does. And you can't put bleach in your mouth, but this you can put in your mouth. It's a natural teeth whitener and mouthwash. And so it's a natural cleaner without harmful chemicals. And then, so that's the 2.5 that you collect, the natural disinfectant. And we have a third party independent lab study that proves the results of the, the testing of this 2.5, which is actually hypochlorous acid, hypochlorous acid. So we have it proven that it kills all those things that I just told you. And then out of the top hose here comes out the 11.5, which is this water here that we are using to clean the broccoli off. So 11.5 there, and then the 2.5 comes out there. And if you find my other videos, you'll find me making these waters live and explaining how to make them real simply whenever you want at the push of a button. So it has to add up to 14 on the pH scale, 11.5 and 2.5. And uh, Kangen water, you guys, it costs less than your cell phone. And so I don't know how many times I've heard people say that I, they can't afford Kangen water, yet you see, them that, you see them buy the brand new cell phone, the iPhone, when it first comes out, they're buying that up. Uh, so the point is, if you want things to change, you need to make a change. And when you make a sacrifice, uh, an exercise faith, miracles happen. And so if you want to shift things and create a miracle in your life, you need to make a sacrifice. So like I said, this costs less than your cell phone. And what is the cost of health in your life? Imagine, go and watch all my other videos of me washing fruits and vegetables and then you try and wash those same fruits and vegetables at home in your water, whatever you want to use, and then compare it to my video. And so you'll know, for, and then, you know, request the study from me. Or get back to the person who invited you to watch this video and get the rest of your questions answered. And uh, they probably have the study as well uh, if they invite you to this video so they can get you that study too. So remember, you guys, champions never quit, never give up, and make your sacrifice and save somebody's life by exercising faith in your life and miracles will happen. Now I removed the broccoli and finished draining it out. And one more time, look at the comparison. Here's what the water looks like before you put the broccoli in. Here's what it looks like afterwards. See the difference? And that is, like I said, try that at home. Put broccoli in your water at home and see if it looks anything like that. And here we are really close up on what remains after the broccoli has been completely taken out. So I just want to show you guys that what remains is not dirt, it's not soil, it's not like there's a dirt clump or a soil clump in the broccoli. The, the water, you can see if there was dirt in there it would be at the bottom sitting there. You can see there's nothing like that. That's a white film that comes off the broccoli, a white powdery film that I don't know if the, ca the camera can capture it as it's coming off, but after it's soaked in here for a number of minutes, you can see that it's totally dissipated into the water and it's made the water totally
cloudy and again compared to what it looked like before nothing's been in this water yet look at it afterwards and when you try this at home and whatever water you want to use or whatever substance you want to use it's not going to look like that test it for yourself now you can actually see here in person I don't think the camera's picking it up quite as good but here in person you can actually see the white powdery film has collected some of it on the side of this silver bowl and so I'll actually run my finger through it you see that you see it right here you see how it's see that let's do this right there run my finger through it you see that you can see a lot better here in person but that's some of the white powdery substance I'm talking about that came out the broccoli it's right there on the side of the bowl and again that's not minerals in the water uh, because the water here next to me on this bowl you know this has been sitting here a while there's nothing there there's no white powdery film in person or on camera uh, that's a white powdery substance that came off the broccoli and here in person you can see it collecting on the side here of the bowl see right there look at that and uh, it's even collected at the bottom of the water but that's not gonna come up on camera but I found it here on the side too to show you the water off here okay. yeah you can go ahead and do that one and so oh wow as you can see I, there is a little bit of this so this is regular tap water yep I, I can see there's a little bit of color in here but that there's more color in there and so what happened is this water actually took off the pesticides that is on the tomatoes and so the pesticides are oil based and this water was able to emulsify or break down the oil and uh, so it actually removed the pesticides <laughs> Champions never quit.